stage and screen with Andy Snowden. Let us know what you want to hear on WhatsApp with the number 01978 540 410. We love local. Callan FM. Right, let's do this, shall we? Staged by Fitz Cluid and playing up at the Dolphin Pub on Mould High Street sees the return of the incredible Great Gatsby. Having played the same venue back in 2018 to rave reviews, the totally immersive production returns bigger and better than it was before. Designer Helene Rees has ingeniously transformed the once derelict Dolphin Pub into Gatsby's house, and you literally feel that you are back in the 1920s with the real world locked away outside. I popped up on press night last week and caught a word with local actress and director Amy Burns Walker who was evidently thrilled to be back at Moles and indeed Theatre Cluid. Well, you're back. You're back in Theatre Cluid. Yeah. But we're back at uh, the, the Dolphin Hotel. It uh, must be lovely for you. It's, like, it's phenomenal. It's such a joy to be here because obviously like, it's the, it's the theatre that I went to as a child. Yeah. And now here I am making a show here and uh, this is like, we call this one Gatsby 2.0. Because 2018 was good, but we've done loads of work on the show, and so there's um, the music is different, the, the soundscape's different in the rooms. There's lo- loads of extra scenes and things that happen. We've got another room here as well that we didn't have last time. So I suppose it's like, I don't think the show will ever be finished. You know, we're yeah. always just striving to find the next, like, what's the next fun thing or what's the next little something else to keep the audiences, you know, excited. Yeah, and yeah, 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 definitely. And... But as you say, you were here five years ago, and it mm. seems... It doesn't seem that long ago, but when you think 2018, the world's changed so much since then. When, when, when theatre got back, we, we were allowed to sort of keep, so everyone has to keep their distance, but obviously with an immersive theatre company, mm. you must have feared you'd never get back to business, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we, so we, we did open Gatsby on the West End under, when, it, when it was locked down, and so there was no touching and everything was socially distanced. And actually, it, may, it meant that we had to be better theatre makers because... We had to think, right, well, how do we tell this story in another way? So we had to really think more outside the box. So it was good in some ways because it made us better makers. But yeah, it was yeah such a, a sad, horrible, tough time. And like, how lovely that we all get to come here yeah. and celebrate together and literally have a party. Yeah. Um, and I feel like hopefully that's what people will really missed. And that's what I love about this show. Like, you don't have to be a theatre person to go to it. If you want a great night out, come to a party, get dressed up, bring your friends, go on a date. And you don't, you know, people are not going to turn around and ask you to do, you know, an exam on what the themes of it were because you just feel something. You just, you know, go along, go, just just go along and get immersed. And that's, yeah, that's kind of why I love this show so much. Yeah. But this is your company now, right? This is... You... <laughs> it, so it's not this, not this company, Andy. This is, uh, so Gilded Miss Royal is run by Alex Wright. Right. And uh, so he is the OG adapter and director and he 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 did it when when we were here last time but i have a theater company all points north that i run with rachel hallowell and we also make large-scale immersive work so we're developing a show at the minute called 40 elephants which is about this all-female um gang that existed in the interwar period in london uh, and it's it's a kind of show about identity and and um gender roles and you know like it's loads of subjects that are really close to our heart like angry women and people kind of like fighting back against depression and whatnot so that's uh yeah that's the next one on the books right okay mm. well let's let's concentrate on this one let's then. Tell, tell us about what's going on tonight then so um tonight people are invited to jay gatsby's party so we encourage people to get dressed up but you don't have to it's uh, it's just a little bit of added fun if you want to so you arrive into gatsby's drugstore because obviously it's prohibition so there's uh, everything that we serve here is purely medicinal yeah, and then, yeah, the, the, the show unfolds around you and you get to follow the characters off. We've got 10 rooms in the building, so you get snuck away to kind of, yeah, just help, help the, the characters to discover something or understand something. And like that, the way that we've written this show is that they really need the audience to help them do that. So you hopefully like you feel like you've got a sense of um, agency in the show and that what you say and what you do really matters to the characters. And I guess the, 
the reason that Gatsby has survived so long as a story because these are like the, the flaws are just very human flaws and the, the you know falling in love with people and toxic love and being unhappy in marriages and relationships and, and searching and reaching for something else is 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 a very human thing so yeah you don't have to be a Gatsby uh, connoisseur you can just come along as a human and enjoy the story. I mean, it sounds like it's a pretty unique experience, not just the production, but every single night, every time she came to see it three or four times, it would be different every time, is that right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you'll, you'll go on a different journey, and, and obviously just the nature of life theatre means that something changes every night. And we really, yeah, we really encourage the, the actors to be really responsive to what the audience are bringing. And so, yeah, yeah, it's a different, it's a different story every night, and you'll get a different perspective depending on what journey you go on and what character you get invited to follow. Yeah. Quick word about the set, because mm. you've come back to the, the Dolphin Hotel in Mould. Anybody that lives in Mould knows it's, it's been... It's a run-down hotel, really. But you've renovated it. Your designer has turned it into something incredible, right? So, yeah, Helith Reese is a fantastic designer. And, yeah, this pub is, is kind of... Well, what we've done with... Oh, it sounds really pretentious to say this, but leaning into the natural architecture of the building. Basically, look, we're not pretending that this pub isn't in the state that it's in, but what we're doing is, like, setting that as the kind of memory. So we're, we're looking back at this memory of once everything's collapsed, but in the, in the middle of it, we're bringing something, like, beautiful and golden and amazing through the middle of it. So it's like this explosion that happens, but, but knowing the kind of tragic ending, and the tragic ending is in the fabric of the building, and that we're kind of reliving that every time. So yeah, Helen's done a beautiful job designing it, and there's so many like Easter eggs in there of uh, little, little Gatsby quotes, and, uh, and and yeah, everything has its own, every room has its own design and its own heart and its own feeling and atmosphere. So I really, and uh, beautiful soundscapes as well that Phil Granger's designed, you know, like, the, I think the sound design in this show is the, is the best we've ever had. Yeah. I think this is the best Gatsby we've ever done. Fantastic, fantastic. And, and I suppose on that basis, you it's unique to mould, isn't it? Yeah. You can't tour that. No, uh, no, of course not. We have to make this show for every venue that we go into, and we want to give like the people who live in mould and North Wales and like a five star show, and that's like that's what we're all striving for in here. So it's amazing that you're here on guest night because yeah, everyone's the, the the vibe in there is is electric. Fantastic. And yeah, the actors are just absolutely buzzing to do this show tonight. Brilliant. Well, I'll let you go. I mean, it's a it's a great run. You're here for two months. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, it's time for everybody to come and see it. It'll be yeah. fantastic for you. Yeah, it'd be lovely. Come up and and you know, Mould is a, a, such an amazing place. So many great restaurants, the charity shops. Like most of our outfits that because we, we've had quite a few preview, previews. We've yeah, we've been rinsing all the charity shops with just brilliant outfits and jewellery and shoes. And so, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't have to cost you loads to come here either. And I think that's really important. You don't have to cost a million bucks to look a million bucks. So we really, really hope that people come and have a great time and, like, let us know what you thought about it and stay in touch with us because, yeah, we, like, I, we make immersive shows because we love audiences. I love her, can't leave her forever. Director Amy Burns, Walker of The Great Gatsby, playing up at the Dolphin Pub on Mould High Street until August the 27th. I shall give you the box office number and all the cinema. So running up at Theatre Cluid, or indeed the Dolphin Hotel on Mole High Street, is The Great Gatsby running until August the 27th. Box office number 01352 344101. 01352 344101. Or indeed go to the webpage for more information, www.theatrecluid.com. Go on, support your local theatres, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, they won't be there forever if you don't. Stage and screen with Andy Snowden. Let us know what you want to hear on WhatsApp with the number 01978 540 410. We love local. Callan FM. FM.